Exciting news in the paleontological community. Two new spinosaurids have been discovered in the Wessex Formation of the Isle of Wight in the UK. Originally discovered back in 2017, these two new spinosaurids, Reparovenator milneri and Ceratosuchops inferodios, represent some of the oldest spinosaurid remains discovered thus far. The two animals were described by a team of paleontologists led by the University of Southampton on September 29th of this year. The remains consist of two premaxilla, two brain cases, as well as two eye ridges for both spinosaurids. The remains of Reparovenator also include a partial tail that is fairly articulated. The tail itself consists of 23 complete or partially complete vertebrae and is approximately 12.5 feet in length. Scientists were actually able to determine that these two spinosaurids were in fact separate genera despite the similar appearance and close proximity to each other by analyzing the interior of their brain cases. On close comparison between the two, it was concluded that they were not merely two individuals of the same species, but rather two separate animals altogether. The overall length of the animals is estimated to be around 7.7 .7 meters or 25.3 feet for Reparovenator and around 7.8 meters or 25.6 feet for Ceratosuchops, putting them near the same size as another Spinosaurid, Baryonyx, that was found in a separate formation nearly 38 years prior. Along with Baryonyx, these two new Spinosaurids, as well as Suchomimus, make up a clade known as the Baryonic Hyenae, which is a sister taxon to Spinosaurinae that includes the famous Spinosaurus. Within Baryonic Hyenae, these two new Spinosaurids, despite being discovered closer to Baryonyx, are actually more closely related to the African Suchomimus. This hints that Spinosaurids as a group may have actually originated within Northern Europe. The environment these two animals would have resided in would have been a semi-arid floodplain and would have been similar to the modern-day Machia of the Mediterranean. Conifers would have been the dominant plant in the area, while the ground cover would have consisted mainly of different kinds of ferns. While the tree cover is thought to have been rather thin, the conifers themselves would have been relatively more concentrated around waterways and remaining sparse elsewhere. Ceratosuchops and Reparovenator would have shared this environment with an assortment of other fauna. Such fauna would have included a myriad of small reptiles, mammals, and dinosaurs. Reptiles would have included two types of turtles, several lizards, and an assortment of crocodilians, the largest of which, Antiophthalmosuchus, was approximately 13 feet long. As for mammals, as much as three genera are currently classified, with additional fragmentary remains that are currently of indeterminate origin. Ruling the skies of the Wessex Formation would have been the Pterosaurs. Several genera are currently known, the biggest of which would have been Istiodactylus at 5 meters in wingspan. The dinosaurs that inhabited this environment along with the two Spinosaurids would have been animals such as the Iguanodon, the second dinosaur to ever be described, a small relative of the legendary Tyrannosaurus rex known as Eotyrannus, as well as a medium-sized Carcharodontosaur known as Neovenator. The discovery of these two new Spinosaurids, Ceratosuchops and Reparovenator, offers valuable insight into the origin of all Spinosaurids. Thanks to these findings, the true extent of Spinosaurid diversity is also beginning to be fully realized. From the massive Spinosaurus to the split-sailed Ichthyovenator, Spinosaurids are some of the most fascinating dinosaurs to ever live, and the addition of these two new finds only helps confirm that. Who knows what the future truly holds for these most intriguing of dinosaurs. Well guys, this was something new. I'm not quite sure how well this will turn out, but I had quite a bit of fun making it. If you would like to see more dinosaur videos on this channel, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. I would also like to thank, give a huge thanks to the Dinosaur Hunter and Spino Dragon for providing our artwork for my video. These guys are really epic and you should subscribe to their channels by clicking the links in the description below. I would also like to personally thank Spino Dragon for being this video's unofficial scientific advisor. This video simply would not have been possible if it weren't for his expertise on the subject. And with that, I bid thee farewell and shall see all of you dudes in the next video hopefully a lot sooner than two months from now. See you later, alligators. After a while, crocodiles. Out the door, dinosaurs. I don't know if I'm going to leave this part in. Who cares?